Hello everyone. In this OpenShot tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to convert a widescreen video into a vertical video for YouTube short or Instagram reel. As an exercise, I'm gonna convert this 14 second movie clip into a YouTube short like this one. Do you believe in fate, Neil? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. I know exactly what you mean. Alright, so the first step of creating a vertical video from a widescreen video is to split the widescreen video into shorter scenes or clips, where each scene or clip will only show the subject or character of interest in the vertical video to be created. For this movie clip, I'm gonna split it into four scenes. The first and the third scenes will be showing only this character called Neo, while the second and the fourth ones will be focusing on this character called Morpheus. If two or more subjects appear on the screen at the same time, you can choose one of them that is most interesting, possibly based on the dialogue or the subject's action. To split the clip into shorter ones, first position the playhead at the frame that should become the last frame of the left clip after splitting. To make it easier to position the playhead on the timeline, make sure the timeline is zoomed in until each second mark appears on the timeline ruler. Then use the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to move the playhead one frame at a time for more accurate positioning. Once the playhead is at the desired frame, right-click the clip, select Slice, and then click Keep Both Sides. Now let me show you one little intermittent problem with OpenShot when we slice a clip and keep both sides. If I drag the right clip a little bit to the right and move the playhead to the start of the clip, we'll see that the first frame of the right clip is actually the frame at the slicing point, which is supposed to be the last frame of the left clip. This problem can occur regardless of whether we place the playhead on the last frame of the left clip, or on the first frame of the right clip, when we split the original clip. OpenShot sometimes, somehow on certain video, adds the frame at the split point to the wrong side of the two clips. To fix this problem, move the playhead one more frame to the right, and then simply click and drag the start of the clip and snap it to the playhead. Now drag the right clip to the left and snap it to the end of the left clip. Repeat these steps until we have all the desired scenes. Once you have split the clip into scenes, go to the toolbar and click the Profile button. On the Profile dialog, select the desired vertical video profile. For this exercise, I'm going to select the HD vertical 720p 24 frames per second. Now as you can see on the video preview, the video is shown in vertical screen, but the screen is not fully filled. To fill the entire screen area, we'll need to zoom in the clips and translate their X or horizontal locations. To start doing that, click the first clip and then move the playhead to the start of the clip. Show the clip properties panel if it's still hidden. Now press and hold the control key on the keyboard, and then on the video preview, click and drag any one of the rectangles at the four corners of the video's bounding box to zoom the video until the vertical screen is filled. And as you might have noticed, the clip scale X and scale Y properties values changed as we resized the video's bounding box. Now go to the clip's location X property, and then click and drag its property value bar to adjust the video's horizontal location until the character or subject of interest is fully shown on the vertical screen. Repeat these steps for the remaining clips. But please remember that the playhead must be placed at the start of each clip before you change any of the clip property's value. And also, for consistent zoom factors across the entire video, simply use the scale X and scale Y values of the first clip for the remaining clips. Now for the last clip, we'll also add a panning effect to the last half of the clip, to make it as though the camera was swiveling to keep the subject in frame. To do that, first I'll move the playhead to the frame when the subject starts moving out of the screen. Then I will insert the current frame as the start keyframe of the panning effect to the location X property. After that I'll move the playhead to the end of the clip. And then adjust the location X property value until the subject is in frame. Okay, now let's play the video to see the result. Do you believe in fate, Neil? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that I'm not in control of my life. I know exactly what you mean. Alright, the last step that we need to do is adding subtitle. To add subtitle to our short, we can use the title creation tool. 
But before creating the texts, let's add a new track for the subtitle above the main video track. And then to make it easier to place the texts on the timeline and set their durations to sync with the characters' voices, display the waveform of all the clips. Now go to the menu bar, click title, and then on the submenu click title on more time. On the titles dialog, we can use any of the gold templates as they are plain texts without decorative background. For longer texts that need to be split into two lines, we can use the gold 2 template. So for example, for Morpheus' first line at the beginning of the dialog, I'll use the gold bottom template as it is only a short line. Now as you can see on the project files, OpenShot actually creates an image of text of type SVG or vector image. To add the subtitle text we just created, simply drag the text image file to the subtitle track. Use the waveform of the video on the main track as a guide to determine the start and the end of the text clip. If you want to adjust the text's vertical location, first move the playhead to the start of the text clip, and then go to the text clip's properties and adjust the location Y value accordingly. For this one-line text, I'll just leave it at its current location. Repeat these steps for the remaining subtitle texts. Alright, now let's play the video to see the final result. Do you believe in fate, Neil? No. Why not? Because I don't like the idea that Okie dokie, so that's how easy it is to create a YouTube short or Instagram reel from a widescreen video. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.